So there's this clip going around by a TikTok user called mbean22 and I don't know why I would expect a TikTok user to speak sense but that's neither here nor there. This guy apparently thinks that people are trying too hard on Fall Guys or just trying too hard in general on party games. So let's listen to what he has to say for the people that haven't seen it and then I'll discuss it a little bit further. There's a few things that I want to say with regards to the stupid things that he says and some of the stupid comments that I left on Twitter. So I'll play the video real quick. Okay, All right away. guys, watch this this is the reason why I stopped playing video games right here okay. people like this game is this game has been out for like what a week just one week and people are this try hard at a party game like bro like come on man like why are you doing this to everybody else people don't learn how to go pro in a game in one week but yet you guys are out here like Winning every okay. single like it just it just doesn't make sense, man. You lose the fun in the game once you turn everything so so competitive. Like sometimes people just want to hop on, have a good time with their friends, play around. But next thing they know, they see sweats like this guy, right? Like God. winning every yeah. single game he plays, and then the game just becomes unfun after like five days. That's why no one plays Fortnite anymore. People are starting to lose fun is. in uh, Warzone, like it's just... It's okay, firstly, that makes no sense whatsoever. So this guy is saying that this dude that's doing the whole hexagon jumping is a tryhard because he's winning every game. And so that makes it unfun for him and his friends who just want to jump on and play the game. That comment makes no sense whatsoever. If you equate winning to having fun, then isn't he having the most fun possible? Like, I don't know if any of you have played Fall Guys, but it's a game where it's, it kicks off with 60 people. So you start the game there's 60 people in the match and every time you go for a round you'll lose about 15 to 20 people until you have one person that wins the aim of the game like every game that has ever been created on this planet is to win it doesn't matter what you're playing it doesn't matter if you're playing a five side at basketball it doesn't matter if you're playing football with your friends it doesn't matter if you are playing super smash brothers which is another party game the aim of games is to win so you're saying that this tryhard is making it difficult for you or making games unfun because you can't get a win in with your friends so you have established and recognized that winning is fun so how is this even a thing like why would you stop playing games he is not stopping you from having fun on the game you and your friends can play it as much as you want and get to the final round and just not win and why would you care because you're just there for fun right no you want to win that's why you're getting upset it's not like you get kicked out of the game immediately on the first try that's not what happens with full guys you go through at least three to four even sometimes five stages depending on how good the players are so you and your friends will get your time to play you're not gonna lose any play time because this guy is good and is gonna win the final stage and besides you are calling him a try -hard for winning you're saying that he's gone pro or whatever and people don't have a chance to catch up so again you're equating fun to winning otherwise you wouldn't care why would you care he's talking about oh this is why people don't play fortnite anymore i don't know what he's talking about that because i still I see, I see everyone playing fortnite like my friends list is just fortnite infested so again i don't know what he's talking about but the aim of video games no scratch that not just video games the aim of any game is to win if i go to a bowling alley with my friend i'm going for a good time but guess what I want to beat my friend because winning is fun. Being competitive with your friends is fun. Trying to grab that brass ring and get first place is fun. There's nothing fun about standing around like a lemon and waiting for everyone to beat you. But if that's what you're into, by all means go for it. But this guy's sending two messages. What kind of galaxy brain, idiotic, just dumbass video? I, sh I don't know why I'm surprised. I should expect this from TikTok users. And a part of me is like, this guy 100% just did this to annoy people and it worked. It irritated me when I saw it because like, I am a competitive person. Everything that I do is to compete to be number one. And I have fun doing that. See, fun is subjective. If you have fun being last place or being second place or not really trying that hard or anything, then that's fine, that's up to you. But someone like me, I love to win. I love winning. I find winning fun. And I understand you need to lose. I'm I'm not a sore loser or anything like that you need to lose to become a winner 100 but you should always be aiming to win and telling other people that they're ruining the game because you don't get to win kind of contradicts your entire message the whole reason you're bitching is because you don't get a chance to win it's not because you don't get a chance to play the game because you get a chance to play full guys there's five stages if you're not good enough to get past the first one that is your own problem you're calling everyone a tryhard at the game. Maybe you just suck. Maybe you need to find something else to do. But if you go onto the basketball court, dude, or if you go onto the football pitch, or if you go into a UFC ring or whatever, people are going there to win. Yes, it's fun. 
You hear fighters say all the time, they're having fun in there, but they want to win. That is the aim of the game in anything. You want to win. You want to be number one, you want to be top rank. So this, this is just dumb, but it doesn't end there. Unfortunately, there's idiots on Twitter as well. And it's this participation generation that we live in. I want to be a part of this and I want to win. Just let me win. Like that, This whole generation that we live in, it's just like, get your head out of the clouds, guys. It's not just about a video game. It's with anything. Anything you participate in that is a game or there's opposing like teams or anything like that. There is competition and the aim of the game is to win, it's to be first place. But let's look at some of these stupid comments that people have left on Twitter. Fakest of news, I, I, do you know what, I just read the name. I don't even know why I'm reading this comment, but let's just read it out anyway. I agree with the dude. I remember about a week or two after Apex came out and there were already wraiths with four figure kill numbers. Like Jesus fuck dude, give it a rest, wasn't even worth playing after that, knowing I'm gonna get, I won't say that, in the first five minutes of every game. Well, I mean, I, what do you even say to this? What, so people are not allowed to be good at the game because it's ruining your fun. Like video games are not for you then. Video games are infested with competitive people. If you want to have a little bit of fun, grab an offline game and sit with your friends and just mess around. There's plenty of games like that. Granted, Apex is probably not one of them, but those games are clearly not for you. They're not for you. Or try find a server, or I don't know how the game works. Try find something else to do other than playing with people, especially when you go into a ranked game. The point of ranked games is to win. But the stupidity doesn't end there. You've got King Dollar here saying, yeah, we have grown adults playing a game developed for kids and taking it serious. Imagine being a kid who just wants to play something fun, but it gets ruined because 20 year old Johnny would rather dominate little kids than be, okay. Please don't ever word anything like that again. Then play a game suitable for his age. Just my opinion. Well, your opinion is trash. The reason that your opinion is trash is because Fall Guys is three plus. It means it's for all ages. Anyone can play Fall Guys and anyone does play it. You see Dr. Disrespect, PewDiePie. You see all these big streamers playing it. I was playing it the other day. I put videos up on it. I'm 28 years old. The game is for everyone. Just like most party games are for everyone. Unfortunately for some kids, yes, they're going to play an online game and there's going to be people in there that are just better than them. That is part of the game. I, when I was young, Younger, I can't remember how old I was when the older Street Fighters were out on GGPO and I was playing Street Fighter 3 with guys way older than me and I was getting my ass whooped but that is part of the game. You can't expect people to just roll over and die for you because you want to win at stuff. It's so baffling to me. And then I read this and it says a viral video is splitting opinions among people on whether or not tryhards are ruining gaming as players are saying that competitive games have progressively become less fun. The part that gets me in this is that it says splitting opinions. Now I don't care who you are. If you're watching this video and you're one of these people that is like someone is ruining my fun online, just get out. Just get out. It's not for you. The game is not for you. The aim of a game is to win. And the reason that people are complaining is because they also want to win. But in order to win, you have to be better than everyone. So there's always going to be a skill gap. There's always going to be something to strive for. So if you're not interested in winning, don't play video games. That's just it or play them offline with your friends in an environment where no one cares what's going on. But guess what? In your small circle of friends, there's gonna be one of you that wins all the time. It's like the bubbles that people live in when they play with their friends and then they go to an offline tournament and they get basically shown that the game has whole other levels and they're not actually as good as they thought they were. It's that exact same thing. Within your friendship group, one of you is gonna be better than the rest. That's usually how it goes. And then guess what? You're gonna call him a tryhard or her. Like it doesn't end with these idiots. People always have something to complain about. There's always something to bitch about. This irritates me because I am a competitive person. I love competing. But if someone doesn't want to compete with me, they don't have to. So to this guy that complained about Fall Guys and to anyone that complains about tryhards on online gaming, games are not for you. Go and do something else. Go and bake a cake. Go clean the kitchen. Go do something else. Do something that doesn't involve competition because guess what? I don't know if you realize, but the aim of the game in Fall Guys is to be the last man standing. Therefore, there is competition involved. But guys, that's all I've got to say about that. This guy is a moron. Everyone that thinks like him is stupid. I don't even know why I have to spell that out for anyone. It's just like, usually your heads. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think people are ruining online gaming because they're getting too good too fast? Or do you think that this is a stupid argument? As always guys, take good care of yourselves. I will catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.